Hello everyone, it's Wolven1 here. And I thought today I would go over the build that I'm currently using for the Aether Strikers. Now, there's been a lot of builds that have been put out since they first came out. Though one of the problems that I have with a lot of the builds that are out there is they're all around the DPS meta. Everybody wants a ton of damage without any survivability. And that's great for certain things. But not all players are the elite type who can make those split-second dodges all the time. They need something to keep them alive. I've made this build to do just that. Basically, this build will give you a quick perk summary of 6 Iceborne, 6 Knockout King, 6 Rage Hunter, 6 Sharpened, 6 Tough, 3 Overpower, and 3 Stunning Vigor. I'm sharpened on this build can be replaced for something else that you may want more. For example, you may want six overpower and only three sharpened or pacifier. Or you may want to fit in uh, perhaps your discipline and do rage with it instead of rage hunter. All of those things are possible with this build. Um, but this is a good base to get you going. Um, I'm using Inferno's Flames with the adamant bolt and the cyclonic strike plate two rage hunter cells in it the brow of ice giving us partially our knockout and then sharpened the nasher cloak to give us tough with iceborne the arms of ice to give us the rest of our knockout and the rest of our iceborne nasher treads to give us the rest of our tough and the rest of our sharpened I use Koshai's Bloom mainly for healing, I'm, though you could substitute any of the lanterns, they work just as well with this build. And the lantern is your Staggering Vigor. Now, normally I wouldn't suggest using this build against the fire type, I just kind of queued up a, a Heroic Plus and took whatever came our way, just so you can get an idea of how the build plays. Um, I use a different build normally when I'm fighting fire types, mainly because you don't want to be using Inferno uh, against fire. It just it ends up weaker that way. Though this build is pretty strong without being uh, completely DPS. I have used this build to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with just about every behemoth who's in the game. Uh, that includes Shroud and Rezakiri. I haven't had too much trouble with either of them. Uh, another thing I'll cover while we're here is just going about the combos. Pretty simple. To get a couple of your combos in. Of course, this doesn't have fireproof on it, so I will be taking fire damage. Missed them there. And this really is a poor example, because he's got tough skin, plus he's a fire type. So you don't get to see the full extent of the damage done.
basically, as long as you can keep those first two buffs active, and then pull off that third hit, you can keep this going for pretty much the whole match. You'll see basically, for PlayStation users anyway, square, square, square. Square, 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 triangle, triangle, and then triangle, 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 and then let off the combo. But it didn't take very long at all. Again, I was using a fire weapon on Charog. And it was pretty smooth. So that's the build. And I hope that will help you out when trying to decide what to use. This build will be a blessing when it comes time for escalation. When we're fighting one behemoth after another, after another, after another, after another. Five behemoths in a row. You're not going to be able to maintain with those normal DPS builds unless you're super good at dodging and you don't make any mistakes. I am not one of those elite players, so I like to have something that can keep me alive, and this build will do just that. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Have yourself a wonderful day.